And also right now, former President Donald Trump holding a news conference at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Our eyewitness news reporter Lauren Glassberg picks up our Shannon. coverage from there. Lauren? Talk about the energy prices and the energy well, Sade, the former president, is China speaking right now about 10 feet from well. where I am standing. Yeah, this is his home territory. Was, this is Bedminster, his, his country club, we his golf course. These are his people. This is friendly territory. And while members are playing golf just 100 or so yards from me, the former president is sort of keeping a scorecard of all of the things he did right during his presidency and what his opponents will do wrong if she is elected. Now, Trump took to the podium at about 4.39 today. He began by saying, we are a failing nation with a failing economy, and Kamala Harris broke the border and broke the economy. On either side of him today, grocery items, cereal, meat, bread, they are props for his talking points about inflation and how food prices have gone up under the Biden administration. And with his opponent Harris in the White House, he argues, it would be more of the same at a cost to Americans. Take a listen. You're paying $148 more a month on food. It's every month. Average family, because Kamala and her ideas, and Joe Biden, too. I, I mentioned him, but he's sort of gonzo. Sources of energy, instead of... Now, meanwhile, a federal report issued yesterday shows inflation had cooled last month. That will certainly help the Harris Walls campaign. But right now, Trump isn't concerned with that report. He is really rattling off statistics on mortgage rates, on gas prices, on food prices, on how expensive it is for Americans compared to when he was president. He began speaking this afternoon, saying that he had all the time to speak. A couple of days ago at Mar-a-Lago, he spoke for about 90 minutes. So far. He's going on close to 30 and shows no sign of stopping. Live in Bedminster, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.